Hi everyone and welcome, John here, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at Helium for Python. Now in some of my previous videos we've used Selenium uh, to load web pages for us and extract data. Uh, and although this isn't always a perfect solution, it can work very well for us when we're trying to get data from certain websites uh, that could otherwise be quite difficult to scrape. Um, it's also a very powerful tool for automating your web browser to do repetitive tasks. Now, what Helium is, it's actually built on top of Selenium and its aim is to make it lighter and more importantly, easier to use. Um, this is one of the reasons why I wanted to demo it and how it works um, and how we could use it for web scraping in particular. With them, um, Selenium we relied heavily on the CSS selectors, the IDs and maybe even the full XPath uh, to navigate our way around the page. Um, but Helium simplifies it all for us, meaning hopefully shorter scripts that are easier to understand and create. Uh, you can also mix between the two the commands together if you can't quite get what you need from Helium, which is a cool feature. And it also comes already with the necessary Gecko driver and Chrome driver installed. So you've got so there's no need for you to go out and get that separately and uh, make sure it's in your path, which is a really nice touch. I haven't tested it with loads of different versions, but I'm running the latest versions of Chrome and Firefox on my machine, and it's been absolutely fine. Okay, so let's get into it. And first things first, let's read the docs. Okay, so here it is. Here's the uh, Helium for Python GitHub page. Um, and this just runs through some of the basic things that I've talked about before. Um, see the Chrome driver and Gecko driver come with it, so you'd have to install it. It talks about the weights that it, it does uh, automatically for you and talks about how to install it. And a bit further down, there's a cheat sheet. So this is the page where it tells us the basic commands that we need to know, uh, with how to import, how to start either of the browsers. Uh, and one of my favorite features is how easy it is to run headless. Um, that basically means that the browser runs in the background and doesn't actually show on your screen, which is quite a cool feature and pretty useful once you've sort of got everything down and you don't actually need the browser to pop up. You can just run it in the background. Um, talks about how to interact with a website with these really basic simple commands which is quite cool write press uh, click go to um, and down here a bit further another thing that i really liked was how to interact with the elements um, you simply use this s open bracket command uh, and then the hashtag for the id or a dot for a class um, and then talks about how you can actually combine helium and selenium commands as well so what I'll do now is I'll run some of this so you can see how it works and then I will show you a couple of short scripts that I've already written. So if we open up our terminal, make this a bit bigger, and open up the Python interpreter and we do what we just saw from Helium, import everything and then let's do start Firefox and this should load up our browser for us. There we go. Now if we do uh, go to and then type the URL, let's say youtube.com. Then we can see that it'll load the page for us. Now, the other commands that were which was quite good was click. So, if we go to click and let's just say, uh, how about trending down the side? We can simply just type in the name of the button here uh, and it will do everything for us to find the element. If this was Selenium, you might want to you might need to have to find the actual identifier or something. But here, because there is the button called trending, if we just do this, it should click on that for us. There we go and load it up. So you can see how already it's going to be a lot easier just to use and a lot or much more simple um, to do basic things. So let's type something into the bar. So we can just do write, and then what you want to type in. Oh, spell my own name. And then where we want to put it is into equals. Uh, and then you can see here it says search. So we can literally just type search. And that will find that box for us and hopefully write that into there. There we go. And then we can just do press enter. Or you could click on the button if it was a go button or something like that. So there we go. So you can see how quite uh, simple and easy it is to use. So I've got a couple of scripts written already. Um, so this one is one that reaches out and goes to the Steam store um, and filters by the specials and then brings back all the titles. So we've got the import, 
the start Firefox and then we could put the URL that we want straight into here instead of having to start and then do go to. Uh, I've then got to press page down to key down the page and then I'm creating a games list with the find all command and this is the S we talked about earlier and then the dot title and I'll show you where that comes from in a minute and then some basic list comprehension to go ahead and get the element uh, text from the element that we get from the lit, uh, get from the find all uh, and then print it out. So what I'll do is I'll just run this now and we'll see it working. Okay, so start Firefox, go to the page, page down, and then there's our list. So this is a really long list. We could page down more times or maybe there's a better solution for it, but I found page down worked just fine for me. And that's our games list. So if we go to our inspect element, make this a bit bigger and go inspect element. You can just see down here, it's quite small, that the span, the class is title and that is the name. And in the documentation it, to get a class, you just do a dot. If it was an ID, you would do a hashtag here instead. So that's just gone out and got all those names for us. So this was running without the headless command, but if we put that in and we do uh, headless is equal to true, like that, capital. And if we run this now, we won't see anything pop up, but we should get exactly the same list back. And this is a really cool feature. Um, I think I will probably use this quite a lot. There we go, gone out and done it. Nice and easy. I have another one here, which is basically the same. And you can see here, I've got the hashtag for video title for the YouTube channel, which is this is my YouTube channel, my video list. And it does exactly the same thing and goes out and gets the video title names. And again, we're running on headless, so nothing's coming up. And we should get the, the all the names back. Here we go. Nice and straightforward. So that's it guys, hopefully you found this uh, useful in some way uh, and maybe you will can use Helium for one of your next browser automation or some kind of scraping task that you're going to do or maybe you just learned something. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think uh, and whether you, whether you think you could replace Selenium with Helium uh, and make your scripts shorter. Cheers guys, bye.